Hi and welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. My name is Eric and today's computer will be an HP Compact NC6400 and the exact model of the computer, make and model of the computer will be in the description of the video. Today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to remove the RAM on an HP Compact NC6400 laptop computer. So, let's begin. Before we begin working on this computer, I want to first mention that I actually like this model. It's an older computer, but it reminds me a lot of what the ThinkPads look like. They are designed and engineered almost, not necessarily engineered, but they're designed the same way and the look and feel of them look almost identical to the ThinkPad. And I'm just a huge fan of ThinkPads. So, before we get started here, I want to remind you that if you're watching this video and if you're performing any repairs on a laptop computer that you want to make sure there's no power source plugged in to the laptop you know you want to make sure you have that actually out of the computer want to also remove the battery of the system now this battery is actually completely dead but I just wanted to show you guys that I am in fact removing the battery we're just going to put that aside what you also can do is press and hold the power button here for about 10 to 15 seconds just to make sure that all the power is in fact drained from the computer. You, you want to make sure that there's nothing left in the system before you attempt any repairs on the computer itself. So, I am done draining the battery, draining any additional power that's in the system, and I'm, re I'm ready to begin uh, said repairs. So, let's begin. Now, on this computer, the RAM is actually right here. If you look on the bottom of the system, it's labeled right there for us. And you know what? We're only one screw away. How simple is that? I normally would use my fancy screwdriver, but um, drill there. But what I'm actually going to do is just use a basic Star Phillips screwdriver, unscrew the only screw that's there pop up the panel and there it is. So this is a built-in screw. It actually stays built into the um, panel here. So I'm sorry, the plate. So we just leave it there. It does not come off. We'll put the plate aside. To remove the actual RAM, you see these little notches here? I'm going to try to get as close as possible. But these little silver notches here and here are what keeping or what is keeping the RAM properly seated there. So all we're going to do is move these outward. You should feel the RAM pop up. And there you go. Simple as that. Here's your RAM. This RAM, the model of the RAM is actually PC2 5300S for Sam. You can go to Crucial's website. That's crucial.com and type in the make and model of this computer and it will actually show you what the max RAM is that you can install on this system and it will even show you some options for upgrading to see if you can in fact support 4, 6, maybe even 8 gigs of RAM. So this is an older system. I don't think it's going to go up to 8. I'm probably guessing 4 to 6 but again go to Crucial's website and see what this computer can support. I'm going to go ahead and just put the RAM back in there. Put the plate back on Again, it just screws back on there for us. Very simple. Let me get my head out of the way here. And there you have it. Again, this was a brief tutorial on an HP Compact NC6400. What we've done is we've successfully identified where the RAM compartment is, where the RAM is stored, how to unscrew and, of course, remove this plate remove our RAM and of course if you purchase new RAM where to get new RAM you would install it here this is one of the compartments this would be like your upgrade compartment very simple and easy access and uh, that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions or concerns please leave them in the comments section of youtube.com forward slash IT conflict um, come say hi to us on Facebook ask us questions there that's facebook.com forward slash IT conflict uh, we're also on Twitter follow us on Twitter that is twitter.com forward slash IT conflict and check out our blog. That is www.itconflict.com forward slash blog. 
Please, I want to remind you that uh, I, I sincerely appreciate your support, and please subscribe to our page. I, I really appreciate you guys watching our videos here. We're uh, trying to get a little bit of a presence, and it, it really means a lot to us for you guys to subscribe and like and just be involved, and we'll be more than happy to help you all out. Again, my name is Eric with IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. Thanks for watching.